It's my immense pleasure to deliver the welcome address. At the outset, I would like to welcome Correspondent Reverend Father Dr. Sebastian Periannan, Administrator Reverend Father Dr. S. Arake Das, Honorable Principal Dr. S. Suresh at this special occasion. It's my privilege to welcome Dr. A. Lakshmi Prabha, NSS Coordinator, Baridas University, Techrapalli, for her immediate acceptance of delivering Felication address. I would like to welcome our resource person, Dr. S. Sebastian Periannan, at this gracious moment. I extend my welcome to all the participants of various colleges and various organizations. Once again, I welcome you all. Thank you. Annai Velangani Kalai Matrum Marival Kalduri Nadatum Webinar Kavandurkum Anaivarakum and Adwanakate Terivit Kulgiran. Then Talaipu Go Corona Ahum. இன்று நாட்டைய புரட்டி போட்டு கொண்டிருக்கும் கொரோனா பற்றிய உரை நிகழ்வாகும் இது இங்கே வரவேற்பு உரை நல்க வந்திருக்கும் ஆசிக்க அவர்களுக்கும் கருத்துரை வழங்க இருக்கும் அருள் தந்தை செபஸ்டின் பெரியண்ணன் செயலர் மற்றும் தாளாளர் அவர்களுக்கும் நன்றியுரை வழங்க வந்திருக்கும் பேராசிரியர் பெருந்தகை ஜாய் மாருதி ஐயா அவர்களுக்கும் தனது பணியை செவ்வனை செய்து கொண்டிருக்கும் பேராசிரியர் பெருந்தகை செல்வம் அவர்களுக்கும் ஏனைய நாட்டு நல பணித்திட்ட அலுவலர்களுக்கும் தன்னார்வ தொண்டர்களுக்கும் பேராசிரிய பெருந்தகைகளுக்கும் ஆசிரிய பெருந்தகைகளுக்கும் இந்த வெபினாரில் கலந்து கொள்ளும் அனைவருக்கும் எனது வணக்கத்தை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கிறேன் இந்த கோவிட் நைன்டீன் தடை செய்யப்பட்ட காலத்து வயது முதிர்ந்தோர் மற்றும் பசியால் வாடும் மக்கள் மற்றும் நோயாளிகளுக்கு உணவு கொண்டு சேர்த்த பெருமை இந்த கல்லூரியின் நாட்டு நல பணி திட்டத்து அலுவலர்களையும் மாணாக்கர்களையும் சாரும் அது மட்டுமல்ல கோவிட் நைன்டீன் தடை செய்யப்பட்ட பொழுது அந்த பகுதிகளுக்கு நோயாளிகளுக்கும் வயது முதிர்ந்தோருக்கும் மருந்து கொண்டு ஒவ்வொரு வீடாக கொடுத்த பெருமை இந்த நாட்டு நல பணி திட்ட அலுவலர் செல்வம் மற்றும் ஏனைய அலுவலர்களையும் மாணாக்கர்களையும் சாரும் என்பதில் ஐயமில்லை அது மட்டுமல்ல இவர்கள் பொதுமக்களுக்கு ரேஷன் அரிசி மற்றும் பருப்புகளையும் கொண்டு சேர்த்து அது மட்டுமல்ல தன்னார்வ தொண்டுகள் தொண்டு நிறுவனங்களுடன் சேர்ந்து அவர்களுக்கு வேண்டிய காய்கறி மற்றும் இதர சாமான்களை ஒவ்வொரு வீடாக கொண்டு சேர்த்த பெருமை இவர்களை சாரும் இந்த நாட்டு நல பணி திட்டமானது ரெவரண்ட் ஃபாதர் செபஸ்டின் அவர்களின் வழிகாட்டுதலில் முதல்வர் தலைமையில் மிகச்சிறந்த சேவையை செய்து கொண்டுள்ளனர் அவர்கள் பணி சிறக்க தொடர வாழ்த்துகிறேன் அன்னை தெரசா அவர்கள் கூறுவார்கள் பிரார்த்தனை செய்யும் பொழுது கடவுளுக்கு நீ அருகில் செல்கிறாய் ஆனால் மக்களுக்கு சேவை செய்யும் பொழுதோ கடவுள் உனக்கு அருகில் வருகிறார் என்று கூறினார் ஆம் அத்தகையதொரு கூற்றை மெய்ப்பிக்கும் வகையில் மக்கள் பணியே மகேசன் பணி என்று சேவை செய்த இந்த நாட்டு நல பணி திட்ட மற்றும் அலுவலர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் எங்களது நெஞ்சார்ந்த நன்றியையும் வாழ்த்துக்களையும் தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கிறோம் இந்த வெபினார் நிகழ்ச்சி அனைவருக்கும் பயன்படும் வகையிலும் சிறக்கவும் வாழ்த்துக்களை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கிறோம் இந்த வாய்ப்பு நல்கிய நிர்வாகத்தினர் நாட்டு நல பணி திட்ட அலுவலர்கள் மாணவ மாணவியர் அனைத்து நல்லஞ்சங்களுக்கும் நன்றி பாராட்டி விடைபெறுகிறேன் நன்றி 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 
be positive as well as negative impact on the society. On the positive side, getting along with the family members, spare some time with our kids and kids, spending habit of lavishly on unwanted things are reduced, food consciousness is increased, etc. On the other hand, in the negative side, it affects the entire world's economy, purchasing power of people, money flow, import and exports of goods and services, our cultural pattern of living, etc. Even though some of the threat occurred while going out, our NSS coordinator, Professor Selvam, along with the NSS volunteers, had done voluntary services for needy people. On behalf of the management, our secretary and correspondent, Reverend Father Dr. Sebastian Periyanan, our administrator, Reverend Father Dr. Arakadas, I appreciate his voluntarism, not only that, he organizes his program too. Our resource person, Reverend Father Dr. Sebastian Periyanan, correspondent and secretary of our college, is good motivator, mentor, communicator, passion and research. He was a staff promoter for St. Peter's Pontifical Seminary and as professor and head of the Department of Social Communication in St. Peter's Pontifical Institute, Bangalore. He has worked as director and producer of Tamil broadcast in Catholic International Radio, Veritas Asia, Manila, Philippines for seven years. He lectures on social and personal communication in India and abroad. His book, Social Research, Methodology and Introduction has been published by the University of Madras and his reference book, book for doctoral students. He has been a resource person for FABC, Office of Social Communication. He was a president of ARMS, that is Association of Rectors of Major Seminaries in India. I am very happy to welcome our chief guest and hand over the session on Go Corona Come Jnana. Welcome, Father. Good morning, my dear friends. Welcome to this webinar session on Go Corona. Come, Jnana. Jnana, I mean wisdom. COVID-19, 3R, is the explanation that I'm going to share with you. Of course, my name is Sebastian Periyanan, the secretary and correspondent of the Zanneva Lamedi Arts and Science College, Anjavo. Ever since this corona started, I have been reading, interacting, talking, and sharing, and reflecting. And I thought some reflections will be of great use. That's how I want to share this webinar. Meaning of Jnana. Jnana teaches study and contemplation to find wisdom and truth in all the religious traditions. Jnana is wisdom. What do I mean by meaning of 3R. Three 3R, three the first one, the role of media. Role of media is to reaching out, reach out. I have been in media for some years and I'm a communication man and that's why I'm into this. Response from religion, restoring faith. Being a religious person, I would like to reflect on the response from religions. Recovery of the social. As a social science person, I would like to see how we can recover from this through research. Uh, that's the meaning of three R, role of media, response from religion, recovery of the social. Role of media, no one needs to explain. It reaches out every nook and corner, every place. Response from religion, all the religions engage in some way or the other, some positive way of doing something during this time. But we need to keep the faith alive, active, vibrant. That is called restoring our faith. Recovery of the social, environmental philosophy. Environmental anthropology, environmental agriculture, recovery of the social, human ecology, conservation and development, and human economics, political ecology, all these things are related and connected when I say recovery of the social. Word 
bird's eye view after seeing that corona go corona song i mean it has been going on in the tiktok and whatsapp and youtube many have seen millions have seen what is my whole focus in this go corona coming out i would like to give you introduction objectives of this study defining the area of concern history repeats itself source of the virus as observed from media critical questions of corona paradoxes of corona analysis from the theoretical underpinnings response as challenges to virus future considerations recommendations and conclusions introduction in this pandemic covid-19 which has changed our life plans and span and shaken us our systematically and scientifically constructed certainties which shakes the world with its dramatic scenes of the dead of the infected of forced isolation of broken relationships of working in crisis and to deal the limitations of our almost infallible algorithms it has changed our life plans and span we need to wear like this look like this stand like this stare like this a shaken our inner core of our beings systematically and scientifically and structured certainties here the shaken human heart is shaken children are shaken the slogan new slogan is stay home stay safe what is your objectives my objectives of this presentation i have three to observe the covid-19 virus pandemic from a communication point of view from the recent news and opinions expressed by our media role of abundance of fake news and facts to analyze the corona event from the mediatized messages religious response and social aspects of the paradoxes to propose few considerations from a communication religious and social dimension standpoints as social recovery measures so these are the three objectives covid-19 virus pandemic from media role of media we have been talking 67% people in india trust media for corona virus related news survey says religious response almost all the religions have engaged themselves how religious groups and services have adapted during this corona virus pandemic we you know almost all the religious leaders religious personnel they're all positively encouraging and doing something great for the people social recovery public participation is critical to prevent new hot spots that is very important and expedite phased restarting of economic activity that is another dimension avoiding further lockdowns is essential for sustained economic social recovery public participation so that we can prevent the new hot spots restarting of economic activity when we do that we can we need to avoid the further lockdowns so that we can socially recover defining the area of concern media as a communication communication is a broad area there is source message channel receiver effect impact and noise in which the channel is the only aspect media that's why i'm saying media as a communication one of the important component of communication religion as a prism i believe you believe we believe but there are people they some of them don't believe as a prism social as a concept social as a concept material concept table 
immaterial concept, love. So social as a concept. Corona as virus that we'll be reflecting, and you know we know. Media as a communication, of course we know mass media for the past couple of hundred years, but nowadays we talk more about social media. In any case, leaflet, newspapers, magazine, billboards, internet, television, radio, all these things, something or the other, we hear about Corona virus. Religion as a prism, prism of knowledge. The real Hindu Brahmin, a Christian, a Jewish, Islamic Godhead, Buddhist, Hamakaya, there are so many ways, so many, so many. But the other side, individual people in their diverse religions. So what is the point here is, prism symbolizes ignorance of the unity of all religions. Sometimes we know something, sometimes we do not know. Maybe social as a concept, social development, social harmony, social justice, social relations. Corona is as virus. Corona's virus. History repeats itself. What does it mean? Epidemics, pandemics, and syndemic are nothing new to the planet Earth. The globe has experienced 20 or more worst pandemics in the past. It will be called the most ancient and worst hit in terms of mortality rate. History repeats itself. For example, prehistoric epidemic around 3000 before Christ, the common era, the mortality rate, we don't have the enumeration, but the Neolithic decline. Plague of Athens, 430 BC, the death toll as high as 1 lakh people. Great Plague of London. Spanish flu, for example, 1918, 1920, exactly 100 years ago, 100 million people died, 17 million in India alone, more than 1 crore and 70 lakhs people in India alone. Asian flu, so, so many, so many, but at least just mention a few. World pandemic history, we have plenty of images of what has happened. We do know that the Black Death of 1,324 decimated around 200 million people when the world population was just about 475 million. The outbreak of this plague shook Europe and caused social, political, economic, and cultural upheavals of an unprecedented magnitude. History, in history, God has played a role Millions throughout history fell victim to the recurrent outbreak of smallpox in India, and people flocked to the goddess of smallpox, Mariamma or Sitala Devi, who both caused the epidemic and removed the same, observes Dr. Felix Wilfred. Source of the virus as observed from media. I'm now going to talk about the virus, how the media portrayed COVID-19 virus from birds to animals, that's what they said first, and then to human from Wuhan, a place, a city in China. It was originally identified as a virus in 1950 itself, belonging to SARS family. They found out. By this testing got uncontrollably busted out of lab in Wuhan, China. This is one news. China accusing America of creating the virus and spreading through military, kind of bio war. America pointing finger on China to be responsible for the Wuhan virus. Uses a US accuses a UN's health agency of helping China conceal the epidemic pandemic gravity. Scientist community believes it is just COVID group of virus spontaneously got activated. They say it is simply a virus spontaneously got activated. Scientists identify now three COVID-19 disease cases and the degrees of symptoms. From media, medical experts are of the opinion that this virus is present in everybody's body. It is there, like pressure, sugar, it is there. Everybody's body is Sarbeco virus. 
When the level of attack goes high, the virus becomes a pandemic. The global burden disease study shows that one in five people globally at risk of severe COVID-19 and 11 categories of underlying conditions may increase risk. As on date, for example, June 17, nearly 8 million people worldwide have been stricken with the confirmed cases. And at least 4,34,000 have died. Vital information on virus. This is much more important. Viruses have been around or longer than humans and will likely outlast them. There are millions of types and thousands of species of viruses. A virus does not reproduce, but replicates on contract with the living cell. A virus is not capable of auto-mobility, but must be transported between living organisms by direct or indirect contact. Virus speed. In the 21st century, the fear of the virus moves at the speed of what the screen shows, says Sanjay Samuel. Scientists have identified nearly 200 genetic mutations in the SARS-CoV-2 that causes COVID-19 by analyzing virus genes from over 7,500 people infected with the disease. The origin, it is an invasive, most fearsome, with so little known about its origin and pathogen emission rate, SARS-CoV-2 is the greatest challenge to mankind. Uncertainty, severity, rapidity. Critical questions due to corona. Fear, faultiness, fight, family, faith, Finance, all these things have created a lot of questions. Fear, there is enough reason to fear a combination of COVID-19 with the existing illnesses and medical complication. Psychologists are even talking of an epidemic of despair arising from a fear of unknown causes, resulting in serious anxiety and mental problems. Faultiness, the environmental degradation is a fault leading to climate change, soil depletion, sea erosion, lack of food security is another faultiness. Proliferation of fake news resulting in mental contamination, misconception, religious hate speech, these all the faultiness. Fight, can antibody tests help tackle COVID-19? It's a fight. When will the COVID-19 vaccine be ready? No country for migrant workers, a big fight going on. Hunted by virus, ignored by government. Six feet away or six feet inside. People have faced heavy burden of economic crisis and social suffering. Six feet away, we are asked to keep away so that we may have good relations and we can keep away the disease or else what happens? Six feet inside. Family, domestic abuse. Reports double during lockdown. Domestic helpers battle the virus and class discriminations. Of course, family ties, family unity also has strengthened. In this time, employers expect the workers to shower before entering their house, but I'm not allowed to use their bathrooms. What do I do now? Faith, a celebration of faith amid the darkness on last March 22, 23. 20. Several groups of people hit the streets to celebrate the Janata curfew. They practiced intense social proximity and banged metal utensils merrily and mercilessly. Did these actions increase the danger of the community spread of the virus? Pseudo-scientific solutions to the pandemic are floating within the local and social media system. Finance, the economic crisis that has besieged the world since the onset of the COVID-19 and the mix has led to some searching questions about the future of globalization. It has become globalization, highlighting both the bad shape of financial burden and the precariousness in the lives of millions of people in the world. Paradoxes of Corona. This is an important reflection and thought pattern that I have developed over the, these days. Coronavirus paradox. I have three areas, communication, religion, social. 
and on the, the paradox, since it is a paradox, what is the natural response, uh, reverence for life, political and ethics? The communication we talk, the news, marketing, medical feasibility, and communication is natural. So it speaks about virus identify, news spreads, panic buying, where to go, what to do. But at the same time, communication also should take care of reverence for life, authentic clinical solution, reliable phone system is needed. What do I mean by political communication? Collective global action is needed. Shared vision from United Nations World Health Organization, that is political. Ethics and communication, truth to be told, justice to be practiced. Natural way of looking at religion, religion seems to have failed, failure. We all think many things that way. Loneliness because doors are shut, curfew, we can't go. Naturally speaking, close the door, but then open the heart. We can also open the heart. Religion says, open the heart, open your hands. Reverence for life from religion, virtual worship, meditation, and obedience. These things can become reverence for life. Religion, political point of view, control and responsibility. Religion and ethics share the talents, time and treasures. When it comes to social, social education, distancing and policy, naturally, social, we are asked to keep distance, distanced human affairs. Naturally, social, families affected, affected. Natural, social, police, they are an active service. And food shortage, these are natural occurrences. Reverence for life, facilitating medical services. Political and social, leadership is important. Civility is at most important. Cross-country collaboration is wanted. Social ethics, care for the underprivileged migrant workers. This is the most important aspect of Corona paradoxes. COVID-19 paradox chart, I have just given here, the curve stands for the virus. It goes up, flattens, hope it will go down. COVID-19 countries, more than 210 countries have got this now infected. Communication has become fake and doubtful. Religion is closed, social distanced. But the truth of the matter is, truth is there always. Love, care, and hope. These four principles must continue. Analysis from theoretical underpinnings. There are five underpinnings I would like to reflect. Theologically speaking, sociologically observing, civilizational process, scientific approach, historical lessons. Theologically speaking, some people are of the opinion that it is a punishment from God. God has punished the world, the people, for its style of life, way of life, superstitious faith, and in different function. Sociologically observing, it is a permissive will or mistake of someone who is in a responsible position, fortunately or unfortunately, knowingly or unknowingly, he or she has spread it. Civilizational process, this is very important. The occurrence of this virus may be perfection process from nature and culture. It is maybe nature and culture. As correction or a kind of correcting the faulty methodology of wrong way or evil way of life. Suffering and death of patients, health specialists, migrant workers, affected children and poor people in the aftermath as a meritorious value, repentance and reconciliation. Individually and in some cases collectively, people have taken a path to reform their life orientations and motivations for a better standard and quality of life. Eliciting philanthropy and offering a helping hand through volunteerism and cooperation. Civilizational process. Correction or faulty methodology. It may be a correction, but maybe to correct the faulty methodology. Civilizational process, suffering and death of patients, 
suffering has a meritorious value. Repentance and reconciliation. Reconciliation, there's a lot of people who are reconciling. Eliciting philanthropy, helping others. So many people are pouring their heart. So many things have been shared. A scientific approach to this pandemic. Science and technology play a vital role and pivotal responsibility in observing, analyzing, and offering solutions for the situation of uncertainty, severity, and rapidity of the virus. Scientists and medical community has plunged into various ongoing researches and trying to evolve a medical solution depending on the innovation of vaccines. Historical lessons, every effect has a cause. Every fruit has come from the root of the tree. History stands told to teach what happened and how it was tackled and unfolded. The vistas for a new way of life. Historical lessons, face masking, 100 years ago it was there. Hand washing, social distancing, quarantine, containment. Response to challenges to virus, COVID-19. I have talked about this in the beginning, role, response, recovery. And three aspects, communication, religion, and social. Uh, role of communication is sharing the news. A response from communication networking. Recovery from communication neutral and objective. Role of religion, encouraging one another. Response from religion, engaging in creative activities, positive activities, social activities. Recovery of religion, ensuring peace and order. Role of social, responsible, being responsible citizens. Response from social, gratitude. An attitude of gratitude is expected. The doctors and nurses are working. We need to express our gratitude. Police personnel, volunteers are doing a lot of service. We need to express our gratitude. Recovery of the social, scientific approach is needed. Not superstition, not blind faith. This is the response as challenge. Communication, a change in reality. Our relationship with voice and video chat is changing in the COVID-19 era. How should those who dislike phone or video chat handle influx of calls? Very difficult. Religion, challenge to faith. This moment calls for a new way of way forward for religious philanthropy, one that prioritizes dismantling oppressive systems, redistributing resources, and amplifying power for the people closest to the problems the sector seeks to solve. Social innovation and social service is needed, providing community building tools that work, creating different levels of engagement and bringing various levels of skills and commitment. That's called social innovation. 100 years ago, the class of 1920 graduated into the end of a deadly pandemic. 50 years ago, the class of 1970 graduated in the midst of Vietnam War. And nearly 20 years ago, the class of 2001 graduated just months before 9-11. There are notable examples like this. They had to overcome new challenges, and in all cases, they prevailed. Future considerations. This particular virus, Corona COVID-19 virus, has inspired us to adopt a new known model of approach for the future. That is, stop, think, proceed. The entire world had to stop because of the spread of the virus. Some days we could see nothing was moving in the street. No one of us, none of us could move. It has made us to think in various ways and means. Now one can proceed again with caution, courage, confidence, compassion, concern for the other. Here below, I would like to offer a few future considerations for a better and brighter side of study, research, and way of life for our own social recovery. Recommendations. 
these are there are 10 recommendations i would like to offer knowledge value formation religion education leadership civility and polity science and technology ideology communication research knowledge this is the year of knowledge no one can speak anything without knowledge some years ago the countries which had petrol they were the richest but today those who have knowledge are the richest environmental agriculture and indigenous knowledge must be further explored expedited and expressed environment is very very important environmental degradation has caused a havoc the environmental protection is much more needed now indigenous knowledge agriculture we may grow and grow high and sky but then we can never leave behind agriculture they say when there was no culture agriculture started indigenous knowledge all that we eat our local food it has become medicine nowadays these things must be further explored natural settings and evolution is the bedrock of environment environmental studies safeguarding environment protecting environment preserving and conserving environment learning from the environment is the day that is going to be the hallmark value formation observing and analyzing the course of the past few months behavior and attitude of people all over it is desired that we follow a serious undertaking on authentic human value formation some time ago former president of our nation dr abdul kalam was in hyderabad and his scientists one of the scientists got up and asked the question sir what is the problem in our nation why there is corruption and dr abdul kalam said start value formation from the family start teaching your kids values values of hard work honesty justice discipline these things must come from home from the parents value formation is very important why i'm talking about it they just let loose little bit of buying the wine shop we were kept open and hundreds and thousands of people flock killing each other what is a mockery where is value religion world population can be broadly classified into theists atheists and animists for our consideration here i would like to speak about religion meaning all those who profess some form of adherence membership and identify with that particular faith group and fellowship religion is needed religion is good practical noble but there are people they say it is useless religion is making people superstitious but religious faith will give new way of life religious thinking religious peace religious harmony is needed education education for what education is for life there a life oriented education must emerge towards personal skills talents management and scientific methods nowadays we talk about webinar online education e learning language schools online courses the way we are going to study the way we are going to impart our knowledge is going to be different here after now itself for the past few months and the months to come we learn many things through digital ways leadership the type of leadership that we envisage that will ensure the people at large to become law abiding citizens and in return the leaders to become more peace and development based people centered and service oriented leadership must be based on peace development and people centered service oriented but our leadership all over the world 
it has become a mockery. It is a symbol of arrogance, power, name, fame, murder, amassing wealth. This is what is leadership in the modern days. But on the contrary, a leader who is humble, simple, and honest, hardworking, that is going to change the society. And that kind of leadership, a servant leader is the one needed during this time and after this corona. Civility and polity, a while ago I talked about how we gather in the shops, particularly the wine shops, how we gather and crowd around the railway stations and bus stations. There should be some civility and polity in doing anything that we do. The law of the land must enjoy concrete constitution that is grapple with human right, social justice, freedom, equality, and solidarity. Science and technology. For the past 500 years, a lot of innovations have come in because of science and technology. Medicine is traditional as well as modern. Allopathy versus homeopathy. Or homeo or oriental medicine. There are so many medicines. Any medicine that heals, that promotes health, is that science and technology must promote. Ideology. That ideology must be based on goodwill, fair play, honesty, participatory democracy, social justice, and harmony. One may be a leftist or a rightist or a centrist, but that is not a matter. We must be people who, are, who have a lot of goodwill. The ideology must be based on goodwill, fair play, simply criticizing, simply finding fault. Fair play is important. Honesty and participatory democracy allow everyone to talk and share and debate. Social justice is another important idea for ideologies and harmony. Communication. It must be aimed at truth-centered media of communication. There are a lot of things can be said and done, but what we need is truth must be communicated. Anything that is useful, that anything that is good, anything that will promote good relationship, that must be communicated. Research, for all that is being shared and done, knowledge on a particular subject or field is created only through a scientific research. Research is not that easy what, but scientific research, still it needs a lot of rigor hard work, effort, and we need to put in social significance into that research. What is the significance of my study, of my contribution? Hereafter, the future, people are going to ask, what have you studied? They are not going to ask that question. People will ask, what are you going to contribute? Scientifically, we need to speak. Scientific research must provide what will be my contribution to the society and to the future. Would like to conclude. Conclusion. What is the conclusion from Jnana? Children, a word of appreciation, listening to parents, teachers, and elders will help the children to grow better. Youth, we need to imbibe common sense, clear conscience, local, cultural, and ethical values that comes from various ways. Youth have to imbibe on these things. Family, follow your conviction, follow your belief system. Compassion, Dalai Lama says, be compassionate, Corona will go. And local regulations must be respected. As family members, these days, in the days to come, we need to follow our conviction, belief, compassion, local regulations. In general, I would like to bring in three groups of people, communicators. We need to present the truth, nothing but the truth. Religious leaders, we need to promote peace and harmony, not hatred, not division, not fundamentalism, not finding fault. Social entrepreneurs, 
social enthusiast, activist, all the others who come under this category, persevere in justice. That is the Nyana way. I would like to say a word of thanks to all those who followed this webinar and acknowledging Dr. K. Sujit for technical assistance, Professor J. Selvam for organizing this webinar. Thank you. Have a nice day. It my immense pleasure to deliver the vote of thanks. To begin with, I would like to thank Reverend Father Dr. S. Sebastian Periannan, Secretary and Correspondent, Reverend Father Dr. S. R. K. Das, Administrator, Dr. S. Suresh, Principal, for their encouragement and support. Our heartfelt thanks to Dr. A. Lechmi Prabha, NSS Coordinator, Badas University, Trichy, for addressing and gathering. Thank you, ma'am. Our sincere gratitude to the resource person, Reverend Father Dr. S. Sebastian Periannan, for rendering such a meaningful session. Once again, I thank you all.